Also making news, a judge appointed by President Obama ruling former White House counsel Don McGahn must obey a subpoena to appear before Congress. The Justice Department seeking a stay of the order pending an appeal. Louisiana Republican Senator John Kennedy is our headliner today. Sir, how you doing? And good morning to good you. Good morning, Senator. Steeped in law as you are. Good morning to both of you. Happy Thanksgiving. And to you as well, sir. To you and your family, have a blessed one. What do you think of the request for Don McGahn Thank to you. appear? Will he and what will we get from it? Well, I think what we'll do and should do is follow the law, and the law is what the federal judges tell us it is. I, I understand a federal district court judge is ruled, but I feel pretty certain it's going to be appealed. Uh, I, I don't. I, my feeling about it is that uh, executive privilege has to be protected, but I'm for all for having more witnesses. I'm. Uh, I, I, I happen to think that. Uh, the, the speaker and the chairman, Chairman Schiff and Speaker Pelosi, have let the American people down by basically rigging what's going on in the House. I mean, they won't let the president call witnesses. They won't let the Republicans call witnesses. They won't let them offer rebuttal testimony. Uh, they, they won't let them. Uh, well, rigging is a strong word considering this, was, this inquiry, inquiry was voted upon mm -hmm. and the guidelines and rules were agreed upon. And that's what we've got now. We spoke to Debbie Lesko. She sits on Judiciary, Senator, and we asked her uh, what to expect mm -hmm. once Adam Schiff uh, hands over that report to the Judiciary Committee in the House and then obviously on to the Senate and see what happens there if that happens. And here's what she had to say this morning. Debbie, let's go. Okay, maybe we'll wait a second for that. Anyway, she is making the case that there is going to be a vote December 20th. Senator, when we have that sound, we'll play that for you. But can you just give us an idea okay. of the timeline that you are expecting, considering we're days away from the holiday, Thanksgiving, and we're pushing up against Christmas, and then, of course, 2020? I think we'll get the articles of impeachment sometime in December. I was the Senate will probably start the trial in January. I think some uh, Democrats are getting nervous because about voting for impeachment in the House because the American people, not the well-intentioned crank wings, but the ordinary Americans see that this thing is rigged. But I still expect if, if uh, Speaker Pelosi puts her foot down that they will send us uh, uh, articles of impeachment, and we'll do it right in the Senate. We'll give the president uh, due process. But I do think what's going on is the American people are looking at this and saying, let me get this straight. Speaker Pelosi, Chairman Schiff, the same people who told us that they had rock, bot, rock solid, take it home to mama proof that the president colluded with Russia, are now rigging the proceedings and saying that he somehow uh, did something wrong with respect to Ukraine, and I think a lot of Americans. All right, I want to play that sound from Debbie Lesko from the House Judiciary, rigged. real quick, while we've got it. All along, I thought this was a political loser for the Democrat Party. First of all, there's no evidence of impeachment. Uh, I haven't seen anything that they could impeach him on. But then politically, it's not very smart, because if they go ahead with this, then it goes over to the Senate. And the Senate uh, can have all kinds of hearings that may hurt the Democrats. So I didn't understand the end game all along. So let's see whether or not that support softens on the Democratic side or not. Senator, I want to play a clip from you on Sunday with Chris Wallace, you know, the origins of the Russian investigation. Was it Moscow? Was it Kiev? What was it? Here's the exchange with Wallace, and we'll get uh, to that after this. Senator Kennedy, who do you believe was responsible for hacking the DNC and Clinton campaign computers, their emails? Was it Russia or Ukraine? I don't know, nor do you, nor do any of us. Uh, Miss Hill. Uh, well, I mean, let me just, let me just interrupt to say the entire intelligence community says it was Russia. Th right, but it could also be Ukraine. So we um, saw you on another network last night. I don't know if there's some sort of clarification mm -hmm. we want to offer today, but what is your position on that now, Senator? Has it changed at all? Well, uh, I did Chris Cuomo's show last night, and and here's what I told Chris: the the truth. Uh, Chris Wallace is a damn good reporter. Uh, he asked me a very direct question. He asked me about hacking the DNC computer. I heard him say, I thought he'd said, meddling in the election. Chris was right. I was wrong. So let me be clear. Russia hacked the DNC computer. 
I have no evidence whatsoever that Ukraine did it. There is, however, plenty of evidence that Ukraine meddled in the 2016 election, specifically President Poroshenko. Don't take my word for it. There was an exhaustive uh, investigation done by Politico, a long article printed in January of 2017. There have been stories in, on CBS News, stories in the Washington Examiner. Last month, The Economist did an exhaustive study, very balanced on what went on in Ukraine. And there is buku, as we say in Louisiana, evidence that Ukraine tried to meddle in the 2016 election. Why is this important? Because my Democratic friends want to prevent the president from offering any evidence that Ukraine is organically and historically corrupt and that he was concerned about corruption. Ukraine is organically and historically corrupt. corrupt. I hope President Zelensky does better, but their government in the past has been corrupt. They're almost as bad as Russia. And they're just trying to keep the president from offering a defense, and that is, I believe this, the uh, the government there was corrupt, and I'm, and I'm entitled to okay. investigate it. You, you and referred, by the way, what did Hunter Biden do for the money? You referred to Politico. It was printed, it was online on January 1st, 2000, uh, sorry, January 11, 2017, a week and a half before the inauguration. Ukrainian efforts to sabotage Trump backfire. Kiev officials are scrambling to make amends with the president-elect after quietly working to boost Clinton. That is what you were referring to a moment ago. So what you're saying is that yes. there's a difference between the DNC server hacking and other election meddling, just to be clear on that, correct? Do I have that right? Yes. Ukraine did not, did not hack the server, but they sure as heck tried to interfere in the election. And uh, uh, it's been well documented. But, Senator, uh, the, the president phoned in to Fox and Friends on Friday morning for a lengthy interview. During that interview, he mm -hmm. pushed this theory on Ukraine again. A lot of it had to do, they say, with Ukraine. But, Mr. You know, president. It's very interesting. It's very interesting. They have the server, right, from the DNC, Democratic National Committee. Who has the server? Now, the FBI went in and they told him, get out of here. You're not getting it. We're not giving it to you. They gave the server to CrowdStrike or whatever it's called, which is a country, which is a company owned by a very wealthy Ukrainian. And I still want to see that server. You know, the FBI has never gotten that server. That's a big part of this whole thing. Why did they give it to a Ukrainian company? So why then does the president continue to push that widely debunked Ukraine theory? I, I don't know. I don't know who has the server. Uh, I do know, based on the classified and unclassified evidence that I've seen, there's no indication that Ukraine hacked the DNC server. Now, what happened to the server, I don't know. But there is plenty of evidence um, that, that, that President Poroshenko, working with Democratic National Committee op operatives, read the articles I just cited, tried to meddle in the election. Now, I know Dr. Hill believes otherwise. Uh, uh, not, is it Dr. Hill, Dr. whatever, the, the, the National Security Council person who testified before Adam Schiff. But she's entitled Neil to her Hill. opinion, but she needs to go read these articles. All right. okay. Sir, thank you for your time. Senator Kennedy, a lot to cover there. Sir, thanks, and have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you, Senator. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. And, and to you. To you thank too, you. Sir.